Hey guys, I'm Nick, President and CEO here at Dropback TV, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to keep people watching and engaged with your content over multiple videos, over time, and things like that. Something I personally struggled with, actually. How can you keep people engaged? It's pretty simple, so uh, let's go ahead and jump on into it. First off, no more intros! I did an entire video and article on no more intros and why you shouldn't have them. There's a video on the screen right now that'll take you off and show you that video and you can watch that and see that and see why you shouldn't have any intros. But basically, to sum it up real quick, intros are keeping people from watching the content they want to watch when they clicked on your video. Does that make sense or was that a little wordy? Probably a bit of both. Basically, when someone clicks on your video, they know what they want. They know what that video is supposed to be because they clicked on it, right? And that's what the title should have been, what the video was, and that's what they wanted. Having to wait through that intro and possibly an ad as well that was anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds is not uh, going to keep them watching your content. It's going to keep them uh, clicking away from your content. So we don't want intros if uh, we want to keep people engaged. And if we do, they're going to be really professional, really re unique, and really, really short. Always keep improving. I also did an entire video on this. Uh, keep improving. There's a video on your screen right now. It'll take you off and show you that video if you want to watch that entire thing. To sum that video up, and I promise this isn't going to be me just linking to other videos. Just so happens the first two on my list here are doing that. Apologize about that. Nevertheless, what you want to do is always keep improving. I always say, would you subscribe to yourself in this video that you're uploading? If the answer is yes, then upload it. If it's not, scratch it out and remake the video. Make it to where you would subscribe to yourself. Always try to make every video that you upload better than the last video you uploaded. That's another good rule. But other than that, there is, uh, that's pretty much all the tips, actually, on keeping, improving, and stuff like that. That video goes into more in-depth and describes exactly how you can do that and some questions you can ask yourself and things like that. But that sums it up. Keep things consistent. That's number three, not number four, number three. That is something that I have done in the past, and it has killed me, right? If you guys don't know, I run a channel with over 40,000 subscribers, over half a million views a month, and I have very low views on new videos. The reason for this is even up until October of this year, even up until November of this year, even last month, I have always been very inconsistent. I've always said I uploaded daily, and there were spurts of it where I would upload daily for a month, and then I'd stop, or you know, a few weeks, and then I'd stop. And now, I finally uploaded daily. I'm approaching a month of uploading every single day, except Thanksgiving. I did miss Thanksgiving, but other than that, uploading every single day on my channel, at least one video, usually two videos. And my views have increased incredibly. I was getting 300 views on a 40,000 subscriber channel. See how that's crazy? 300 views on my new uploads. And now I'm approaching 1,000 views per new upload. And that's just from consistency, always showing up, always getting videos up. Because that's what you have to do if you want to be consistent and keep people watching your videos on YouTube. Keep people engaged. That's a must. Number four, remind them to engage and keep watching and know when they're going to be able to come back. Remind people to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. An example of how you can encourage people to comment? Ask them a question. A question of the day is a perfect way to get people to comment on your videos, to engage with you all of that stuff. Ask for likes, ask for subscriptions. It's not loaded, you guys. You can do it. Ask for them. Because every single YouTuber does. Look around. Everyone does it. Um, so you've got to ask. You've got to remind people to engage. Because a lot of people won't unless you ask them to. And that's just the bottom line. Philip DeFranco does a question of the day and he executes it perfectly. So if you want to go see that, go watch one of his videos. Uh, YouTube.com slash XSXE Phil. Sexy Phil. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it on that. Make sure you keep people engaged by reminding them to do so. Very simple tip but can have a tremendous effect on audience engagement and keeping people watching your videos. It also builds a sense of community so people keep coming back to your videos and watching over and over and over again every single video you upload because, guess what, you've created a community, which is what we really want to do here. And number five, last but not least, make sure the video flows, right? Make sure that when they click on the video, they know what to expect. And at the end of the video, that's still that same thing that they expect. Don't surprise people. Don't, you know, suddenly switch gears right in the middle of a video and stuff like that. Make sure you stay on top and you keep things going and going and going and, and smooth and flowing from the beginning of the video to the end of the video. For example, this video had very few jump cuts because I came in prepared and knew what I was doing. I don't usually come in prepared for videos, but 
but I can just keep things kind of cohesive just because I've been doing this so long. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. There's your five tips. To recap real quick, no more intros. Get rid of those intros. They're keeping people from seeing the content they want to see. Always keep improving. If you keep improving, people will come back because your videos just keep getting better and better and they want to see what that next awesome thing you're doing is. Keep things consistent. Make sure you have a consistent upload schedule. I said mine was daily. It is daily. Yours might not have to be. Could be once a week. Could be twice a week. Three times a week. Whatever. Whatever works for you. Make sure you keep that consistent and your viewers know they can come back for that. Keep them engaged by reminding them to engage. Yes, remind your audience to engage. Keep things going. Keep saying, you know, like this video. Don't keep saying that, but say it at the end of every video. Like this video. Maybe put it in the description of your videos. You know, subscribe to this channel. All that awesome stuff. Ask questions of the day. Ask your audience what they think about topics. Get them engaged in the comment section that way. And last but not least, make sure there's flow in the video. Right there, there was a jump cut. So for example, not flow. Uh, I accidentally muted my mic. That's why that was there. But make sure there's flow in the video from the beginning to the end. Make sure people know exactly what they can expect in your videos when they click on them. Whether that's, you know how to keep people engaged on YouTube or whatever, you know, how to make a Minecraft server or how to install Adobe Premiere. Whatever it is, make sure they know exactly what they're getting and the entire video is about that topic. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Nick's Games, President and CEO here at uh, Dropback TV, and I'm not Nick's Games, I am. That's my other YouTube channel. I'm Nick King, President and CEO here at Dropback TV, and I'm out, guys. Peace!